Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the best way to tone your image black and white. It's very easy and fast, but you must learn the best technique so that your black and white is going to look amazing. With no further ado, let's get started. I'm going to delete all these layers. If you zoom to the skin of the model, you can see some black spots. To remove them, you are going to use the spoiling brush. So with the spoiling brush, you can easily remove the black spots on the model's face. Once you're done removing the black spots, you now come to your action and use the auto face fx action to smooth your image voila here was the before and here is the after the auto face fx action retouch your image retain skin texture and retain the form so you can see the before and the after once you're done with the retouching you can now come to filter and come to camera roll filter in the camera roll filter we're going to click on the black and white and then we are going to make adjustment to the highlights. I'm going to drop the highlights. I'm going to drop the blacks. And you are going to reduce the exposure a little bit. Now, you are going to add contrast. See the effect? Once you move the slider, I see the effect. You use the viewpoint to see exactly how it's affecting your image. And know how much you are going to pull or push. So, like this, it's okay. Here was the before and here is the after. We are going to come back into Photoshop. Right here in Photoshop, we are going to create a color balance adjustment. In the mid-tone, we can add cyan. We can add yellow like this. So you see, here was the before and here is the after. To target the black, we are going to create a selective color adjustment. Make sure your colors is on the blacks. And now we can add cyan or red to the black. We're going to add a little bit of cyan and add a little bit of blue. And we can now darken the blacks a little plus one here was the before and here is the after here was the before and here is the after you are now going to take your elliptical marking tool i'm going to create a selection on the subject like this i'm going to come to curves i'm going to take down the curves i'm going to click on the layer make sure you're clicking on the layer marks so that the layer marks property will come up click on invert now fader a selection like this now take down the opacity what this does is to bring focus to the model before and after right now if you look at the image you are going to look straight at the model so you can reduce the opacity just the before and here is the after now press ctrl shift alternate e on your keyboard or command shift option e on your keyboard come to filter Come to camera roll filter for a final touch. The camera roll filter, we're going to zoom to the model's face. We are going to come to the effect. We are going to add green. We are going to increase the green size. Just like this. Add green, increase the green size, increase the green roughness. So let's take a look at the before and the after. See, here was the before, here is the after. Now by introducing noise, you make the image to look more cinematic. And you can see here was the before and here is the after. Subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips, tricks, and photography tutorials. Leave a fire emoji in the comment section. Really happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.